Hello, my Virgo family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot. This is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of December 13th through the 19th. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe and join me daily for my quick glance daily readings. Now, these are general readings, Virgo, so take what resonates and leave the rest. So, Virgo, let's get into the reading. First card, Six of Pentacles. Next, the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Wands. Okay, Virgo. Well, I'm picking up an energy of things have been really difficult for you. It seems that every time you try to move forward with something, there are setbacks, something that gets in your way. And I feel it's kind of like you take uh, three steps forward, but then two steps back. That's the energy that I'm picking up. So let's take a look and see what your cards are indicating for the week ahead. Your first card here, Virgo, is the Six of Pentacles, which is a card of giving and receiving. And you might be more that you're on the receiving end, that you need help, you need assistance. But I feel like you're almost too proud to let anyone know. So the Six of Pentacles is a reminder that there is assistance and support and people around you that you could get some help from. Now, for some of you, this is definitely in regards to your financial flow, possibly money coming in as quickly as it's going out. So it's an indication here to take a good, hard look at your budget, your finances, and try to get things balanced. Now, for some Virgos, the Six of Pentacles is in regards to relationships, maybe in particular who you're partnered with. Pay attention to the give and take in that partnership. Take a look at if one person is doing all the giving and one person's doing all the taking. That might be your scenario that you need to take a look at and do something about. Now, this is Taurus's card in energy, so it's one that's very stubborn at times, very persevering. So it could be an indication that you've been taking that three steps forward two steps back now for some time. But your cards here are showing that's going to change. But let's first pull, I can get them, a clarifying card for the Six of Pentacles. See what else might be revealed. As the Six of Pentacles is ruled by the moon, so there could be things working behind the scenes that you're not aware of or that you could take advantage of. You don't see that coming. Okay. Major Arcana card judgment. Well, this is kind of like a transitional kind of energy, which kind of makes sense for what I'm picking up. This is drastic change coming in. So I think your luck is going to change here. It's an indication that how your current phase of life has been, and maybe filled with a lot of difficulty, is coming to an end. So change is coming in. Good indication here to tap into your intuition and trust what it's telling you for the week ahead. Your next card, the Ace of Swords. Here you go, Virgo. Aces. Ace of Swords is success after an immense time of adversity, problems, complications, difficulties. So the aces are the presentation of an opportunity and you have to grab it to have it grow, come into fruition. So it's not something that's going to necessarily like fall into your lap, but this is clarity, realization of how you can cut through your obstacles. Something is really going to occur to you that, did, that didn't before, some kind of awareness, some truth to something, and you're going to kind of get a fresh perspective 
on an old issue, Virgo. So you're going to look at things differently. Also, when this card shows up, it's an indication to cut loose anything that no longer serves a purpose to you. And that's people, places, and things. So an indication here, you're going to be moving forward with hopefully no steps behind. So let's pull a clarifying card for the Ace of Swords. Maybe it'll give us kind of more information as to where this is headed, but it is leaving your troubles behind. Major Arcana card, Justice. Okay. Things are going to play out as they were meant to be. So it's kind of like your destiny is now like taking hold. Now, next, you have the Ace of Wands. A second card of opportunity coming in. Ace of Wands is possibly uh, inspiration, an idea, some creative energy coming in usually presents excitement, enthusiasm for something new crossing your path. So certainly this is a time for you to be bold, Virgo. And I love the Ace of Wands in this deck. This is so powerful. This wand is cracking open this boulder in half, trying to get the message to you. You see a little bird here? That's a messenger. But this individual here, too busy to notice, so don't let that be you. This could be in regards to career or a job. It could be an opportunity to be able to be creative and really express yourself in a job that you would love to be doing. Now, in regards to love, this Ace of Wands could be an indication of passion, excitement, and fun. And there is a castle in the back. So it could be a new home coming in. So let's pull a clarifying card for the Ace of Wands. See if we can get any other information. But you have at least two opportunities here to be able to move forward. Okay, the King of Cups. That could be something that's presenting you maybe with an opportunity here that's affiliated with this Ace of Wands. Now the King of Cups is Scorpio's card in energy. So it could be someone that's a Scorpio, possibly another water sign. This is a person that's very intense and passionate. So he might come off very strong if you meet up with this individual, but don't let that scare you off. This could be someone giving you an opportunity or advising you about an opportunity. Certainly could be a friend, a possible coworker, somebody around you that really gives good advice. This could also represent someone in the HR department. So it could actually be someone coming to you, Virgo, making you aware of some kind of new position that's opening up, something that'll give you more money, get you out of maybe your situation that you might possibly have here with the Six of Pentacles, lack of funds. Now, your numerology for your three tarot cards is number eight. Eight is abundance. It can mean leadership. It can be influence. It can certainly mean taking the lead to obtain abundance using all three. But it could also be a promotion, a leadership position coming in. That could have something to do with the King of Cups here, the Ace of Wands. Could be... The Justice card here with the Ace of Swords giving you clarity and things working out as they were meant to be, finally, especially if you've been struggling, Virgo. Now, let's take a look at your last tarot card here, which is more kind of like pulling all the tarot card meaning everything together. You have the Page of Swords. Well, the pages are certainly the messengers of the court cards and what is coming together for you here, like with your tarot cards, is some news, clarity, information as to how you could move forward. Now, this particular page here, 
really likes to get down to the truth of the matter. And it's almost like she's really clutching the sword, almost like embracing a problem or challenge. And that's exactly what your tarot cards and what I'm picking up is you've had a difficult time. So this is the page that's perfect for problem solving and out of the box type of thinking. And that's what's happening with your tarot cards and the energy that's like coming in for the week ahead. Things are being moved out of your way. Things are actually working behind the scenes and they're starting to emerge. Now let's take a look at the crystal for the week ahead. Okanite. Now this crystal is a very unique crystal, kind of hard to find, but the message from this crystal and card here is this is to help you to remove any old patterns or beliefs that are holding you back. So it brings me back to like looking at things differently. So it's an indication here. It's time for you to see that there are different new ways to act or to look at things. Remain positive and it's going to help you to be able to move through any challenging situations. Now, the Okanite Crystal card can indicate that there's some past life patterns or issues like surrounding you. So it's a time to just let go of anything from the past that may be a burden or holding you back. It's kind of like freeing yourself from any karmic debts. Just by simply saying, I'm leaving this behind, it no longer serves me. So definitely a crystal that can help you clear obstacles in your path. It also helps you to clear all your chakras as well. But if you don't have the Okanite crystal, it is a diff difficult crystal to find, to obtain. Set the intentions and that's going to work just as well. Now I wanted to pull a tea leaf fortune card to wrap up the reading. And you receive tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. Well, if this doesn't tie into your reading, I don't know what does. So an indication that there's many obstacles you've been dealing with, and it looked almost like it appeared that you will never get out of the situation. And that could have been debt or not having a job or any number of things. However, the tortoise is an indication of finding a way around the obstacle and finally reaching the goal. So this card is advising you against being coming like discouraged, Virgo, when you don't quickly reach a goal. Even though it may seem to you that you're not making any progress, this card is an indication the opposite is true. So Virgo, I was picking up in the beginning, you've had a hard time, maybe problems with money, having a job, keeping a job, finding a job, possibly issues with relationships, any number of things. But I'm just picking up a lot of difficult energy and that seems to be going away. You've got not one, but two aces which is the presentation of opportunities coming in. And possibly the King of Cups here is what's going to offer you some kind of opportunity. Could be a job, a promotion. He could be introducing you to someone possibly like giving you a new friendship, a new relationship, which might develop into something else further along. Your Page of Swords is kind of like the overall energy, kind of a problem solving energy, news, information, kind of putting things in front of you that's giving you ideas on what you could do. Now, the Okanite crystal is a reminder to release whatever is left in the past. Leave it behind you, just move forward and what your fortune card, the tortoise, is saying, slowly but surely you will be getting ahead. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. 
and for a private tarot card reading, the links are listed below. Love and abundance to my Virgo family.